Ready. Pushing the button. Okay. Holy cow. I know. Not bad, right? There no we go. Make sure way. Get all the Sounds there on. we go. Hi, Everything's Mrs. Ryan. good. Hello. <laughs> I know. This would be a shitty one to not have the sound for. Totally. Uh, let's see. What's happening? That's later. Everything situated here. Forgive me. Doing I all this know. Stuff. So Welcome back. Happening. Welcome back. Hi, Mrs. Ryan. Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. Our guest today is comedian actor Wayne Fetterman. He's walking around pacing over there. Pretty excited. <laughs> He, uh, he claimed he was neurotic right before the show, getting all yeah. his things in order and everything. And I'm thinking he just is the exactly what I expected to it show up here today. It calmed me down immediately because yeah. it just felt like kindred people are in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's awfully exciting for us, too. Yeah. So it's a great day. Great day all around. Great day. Uh, Mrs. Ryan, how are you feeling today? Um, mentally, I'm fine, but I keep getting thrown off because physically I feel so bad. Does the temperature um, have anything to do with that? It's been changing here. It's getting a little warmer, which means we've had little, the AC on and stuff. Yes, that affects it. And I'll get super lame and be like, astrologically, there's a ton of stuff happening. So I think the energy well, in, the, that's what in the air, in. it is what I believe. Um, there's a lot of that stuff happening. Um, but the temperature... It just throws me out of whack that I have to be cognizant of every little thing again. Yeah. Like nothing that I thought I knew. You can't be on autopilot matter. anywhere because you have to nothing. be giving your full attention all the time. It's like you yeah. have to be on your A game just to run your body. Yeah. It, it, and I mean, literally, that like sucks. on such a cellular level, like, what am I going to, how am I going to walk down the hall today? Like, <sighs> how am I going to swallow? I started coughing in the shower because <laughs> I you? water went down the wrong pipe. Just, I wasn't just paying attention. I had a thought. And I couldn't swallow. <laughs> oh, because so, you couldn't do two things at once. Yes. So it's just lame. Just moments like that are ridiculous. No, I didn't mean it was lame. It's just that's a lot to deal with. Yeah, it is. But I have to laugh at it because it's so ridiculous. Well, good for but you. Whatever. Your attitude is so great. Thanks. I mean, it is what it is. You know, people are like, well, how do you deal with all that? And it's kind of like, eh, think of the stuff we don't have to deal with anymore. You know what I mean? The regular yeah. life stuff that everyone else deals with that we had to cut out because, you know, we live differently now. Yeah. It's all good. I hear people, you know, you see, I'm, this is extreme, but you see people who like lost their legs in an accident or, or, or they're paraplegic now because of a motorcycle, what, something, whatever. And they're way better people than they ever were before when they were fully able-bodied. Yeah. And then you ask them, well, how on earth can you, you know, I would ch- kill myself if I was in your situation. And they're like, no, man, this, this crazy, awful thing gave me a reason to live. And it's the weirdest thing, but I believe that it's, it's given you the reason to like spread your your love and your positivity and also your experience to other people now so that other people know yeah i mean for themselves and for you are not the only one that all of these people know who has ms totally. you know what i'm saying like everybody knows somebody who has ms or yeah. a relative or a friend or something and i'm going to go one further the way i think about ms is that it's just a spectrum disorder so we all have a little piece of it somewhere mm-hmm. cuz like i, I everyone has moments where like it feels like your brain doesn't work that might be real sure it just happens to me more often and for longer periods of time (laughs) i would say if you're somebody who's used to being on your a game and you just wake up one day and you're not and whatever i mean you you probably know how to get it back but for whatever reason you wake up and you're just foggy and you're just cloudy and like nothing makes sense and you can't remember what you were supposed to do today and all the things that make you not all that successful at life (laughs) you know what i mean as far as the traditional the traditional yeah that's those are the things you struggle with. I have with that daily. every day, so I'll just rem- let everyone know. You're a trooper, Mrs. Ryan. That's how it goes. I don't want to make it all about that, but I love you so much, and Thanks. it's awesome. Um, you know what? Our good friend Ray Schaefer yeah. sent another video. Oh, really? Part three of four. Oh, cool. We're going to check in down at Amelia Island. It's been over for almost a week now, but... We're still with the but videos are still coming in. There's one more so after this. So many cool, st- so much cool stuff there. <laughs> and I'm happy that we get to see it. It's it's exceptional. So yeah. um, let's check in with the backstage pass here. Ray Schaefer, roll it out. Early morning of Cars and Coffee here on Saturday. So we're going to take a walk in and see the cars that are on the field that folks brought today, the day before the big concourse. Let's have a look.
play that same song again. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, I was thinking he was going to wrap it up there at the end. Uh, Not today. That's all right. Oh, I love that Ray Schaefer for even doing that. Um, so with that, brings me to my next thing here. Got the card for this, Mrs. Ryan. Okay. Uh, if not already, please consider following Ray Schaefer for your backstage pass to Porsche. Porsche <laughs> backstage pass. <laughs> if you want to get a backstage pass, go over there to Porsche Classic. Uh, brand heritage and travel-related material. That's Ray.Schaefer, S-H-A-F-F-E-R. Love that guy. Love him. Porsche Classic. Good stuff. He uh, shows some neat stuff on his social. Yeah, he really does. I love all the, the historical stuff, all the heritage stuff. Yeah. I'm so into that. He knows for life so too, much. You know, we're all kind of the same headspace on that. Same Hunsaker, nerds. too. We appreciate the old shit. Yeah. You guys, the lineage that you guys follow, the through lines of that stuff. How cool was Nick Hunziker yesterday? Listen, he Warm gave me my a heart. shirt. Yeah, I was like, okay, how many can I wear is at this once? It? This is one of them. Oh, I'm wearing one too. All right, I'm so we should... obsessed with that guy. He's so great. All I right. just kept giggling about re- memories of our time together. He's we, awesome. We mentioned yesterday that he brought a whole bunch of swag. We're wearing some of it. I thought we would open it on the show until I started opening. I saw. I just took a picture for everybody else. Yep. It looks like gas station fireworks. The There's so many t-shirts and stickers and posters and calendars and bag. Look at all that shit. Yeah, he's so incredible. We obviously are not going to be able to do wear all of that stuff. So we're going to do some giveaways. I haven't figured out exactly how to do that, but maybe you have some ideas or whatever. Social media, I'm assuming, is the best way to do it. Yeah, I want to talk to Tori about it. I want okay. to make sure it goes to people that really want it and love it as much as I Well, that's do. what I mean. We'll do it some some yeah. some way, whether it's a raffle or whatever. Not a yeah. raffle, but uh, what do you call it? Like a what do you call that when you... Grab it is a bag? raffle, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah I it's know. a raffle. <laughs> I don't know another word. No, you're right. Um, all right, real quick, I'd like to check in with uh, Paul Kramer and the Auto Kennel. Okie dokie. And uh, the Ouchie update is complete because Tortuga's back on the road. Oh, goody. Roll it, hell. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan. This is Paul Kennel from what well, would be normally behind the orange curtain. We're in Palmdale, California, ready for the start of the Coastal Range Rally. Um, put on by DWA. You can see some of the cars there. Uh, Volkswagen Rabbit, Corvette, Alfa Romeo, GTV6, M3, Boxer. This Volvo here has a, uh, I think it's a Corvette motor in it. Some guy even brought a Raptor. And of course, uh, Jennifer Kennel and I came down in the 928. Um, there you'll recognize that car. That's Sol- Solomon and Jackie's uh, Mexico blue car. A little blurry. It's cold out. Really cold. So we'll give you updates as we go along. And miss you guys. See you soon. I love it. Obviously, there are updates. I have a couple already, but we'll get to those uh, as the week progresses. As it goes. I'll just and, say hi in the meantime. Uh, absolutely. Hello to both, uh, both Paul and Jennifer <laughs> Kennel. <laughs> From Auto Kramers down in Costa Mesa. Uh, Mrs. Ryan, it is time to ask, however, the question that is on everyone's oh, yeah. mind, specifically the kennels. They called in. They wanted to know. Well. What's you... going on? McDonald's is exploring vegan and vegetarian items in Norway. <laughs> in Norway? <laughs> Well, it That's might be a little it here's it might be a little bit too big of a shock to the system here since oh. McDonald's is garbage. I love Whoa. it. Listen, I love McDonald's, but like I don't go there for vegetarian days. Oh, yeah. 
you know. I, I remember the salad thing they tried to do about 10 years ago. I don't remember if that worked out too well either. Yeah, I don't know. So if you want vegan stuff, go to Norway. It'll probably be here to eventually. Just it made me laugh. It, they're starting with chicken McNuggets that aren't out of chicken. They're out of, mm, out of a mashed potatoes and chickpeas and onions and carrots. Oh, it's that kind. They're not even, it's not fake meat. They're just Correct. going solely natural. And, oh, interesting. Well, that fucking sounds great. It sounds great. It's just, I, to me, I don't think McDonald's is the place yeah. to get stuff like that. But I, if I was in Norway, I would try it. Um, Another way we can watch the Earth evolve and really just see it, and we can like let every idea that you have, you can apply it to what you see, is underwater. They've last November. I know you. I know things happen all the time, but like last November, there was like an explosion, basically that they think was like an earthquake or a lava, like a underwater volcano. Oh, but wow. the lava didn't go to the top. It just like kind of refigured the surface on the bottom. Okay. So is that how a volcano starts, and then over time it gets to the surface? Or? No, some of them shoot right up, and there's oh. lava. That, uh, they oh, and it breaks the surface into. I see. I see. Yeah. So they're looking at all this stuff. This magmatic. They're calling it the magmatic source, like of the lava of all the upheaval and stuff, is 16 miles below the ocean floor. Holy shit! So it's super far down there. Yeah. So, um, but what they did notice, the first thing they noticed, that the floor is sinking. 0.4 inches a month and that the island they started with it's near madagascar this one example it's moving a little over six inches a month oh, so there it's lot, showing it? it's a lot yeah yeah so you can it's uh you can watch it happen all right it's super neat um light exposure they're finding can zap scavenging cells and clear toxic proteins from the brain they did it with mice first, and they're applying it to like it's like uh, these mice had Alzheimer's genes in their brains. Okay. So they did kind of like strobe light testing, like it was really close. They it's laser? Did you say that? It's uh, not laser. I, it's not laser. Okay. It's light. <clears throat> but um, some sort of concentrated light. It's not. They're not just shining a flip. They're not doing Morse code in some uh, bunny's uh, eyes, right? I mean, a uh, mouse. Uh, the, here's the thing. There, the applications are for non-invasive procedures, so it is kind of like looking at the sun or putting it like shining some kind of natural light. It's in a your hack. System. It sounds like a hack. It's like a all of a sudden there's some not more some other code, and you can strobe it this way and make it that way. And light is found to diminish toxins that exist, mm. so it's killing stuff off. So it's showing That's the wild. that if you integrate and add natural light sources to the cells that it can have positive effects on That's alzheimer's amazing. type neurological systems it makes perfect sense it makes total sense i just love that they're looking into it this is a weird study but like the implications are pretty rad that I, there's non-invasive ways to address neurological issues now agreed i go with as above so below and the whole bit yeah. it's just like you know, all right think of a plant needs water and sunlight i mean we're totally. not we're just more complex. We're just a different kind just of organic material. Yeah. So what you feed yourself and like how you would, so it's neat to explore like how you would treat a plant, how you yep. would treat a whatever. So that's one of, this is, seems to be one of those things that they're looking into. And then lastly, oh. this made my day. Okay. I don't normally like to like promote stuff, because it's not my bag anymore. Mm -hmm. But Amy Schumer has a new comedy special coming out today on Netflix. And I'm going to watch it because I like her. But... Subject it, matter, right? I don't know. I don't even know what it's about. I don't... Uh, or no, but I, what are you going to talk... I think you're. I think I know what you're going to talk about. The one press article that kind of, to me, spawned a lot of interest was not about her special at all. It was about why she loves her husband, who's apparently been diagnosed as being on the autism spectrum. Apparently, we're no longer calling it Asperger's. We're calling autism spectrum. What used to be Asperger's is now just called autism spectrum. It always yeah. kind of was that, that would, when you had to describe what is Asperger's. That's sort of what they said anyway. Um, so I guess we're just skipping the uh, Asperger's name now and just going yeah. straight to what it is. Um, I found it fascinating. I think I'm one of those guys. I think Nick Hunziger might be one of those guys. I think a lot, you know, I would. That's, I, far be it for me to put diagnoses on people but uh, a lot of people that we know with the brains that they have would probably fall into this category would you agree like I a would, lot of people we know i would totally agree and what i this is why i love comedians brains like a lot of people are off put by it because it's really starkly candid uh, autism spectrum it's like very clear to the point very direct very and she's like the 
once he was diagnosed, it was all the reasons I fell in love with him. That's what he's I love. So real. Yeah. And I that's that. what people are qualifying as being on the spectrum, like being not having those filters on, which you don't have. And I, it, here's the thing: I was on, I I gotten used to it. It's not easy to get used to, but it's so refreshing once you do. So I loved her for talking about that and in such a positive, normal way. I think it comes down to knowing yourself. Once you know yourself and uh, your footing becomes much more solid in the world where you, you know what I mean? You're not worried about what other people mm-hmm. think and what other people uh, feel about you and whatever. You, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're confident in the person that you are. I feel like that makes a big difference. And once you have that, um, it's so foreign to other people that they like to say there's something wrong with you and they want to give it names and all the other things. When the truth is, man, I'm good. That's all it is. We're just good. Yeah, it's all fine. (laughs) I don't mind talking about myself or whomever about things that other people might not because I'm good. Yeah. Done the work. Yeah. And I'm just going to go one further and say I watched the trailer only for her special. And I'm going to say I think her comedy is better. She's funny anyway. She's hilarious. Um, It always brings me back to Paul Zuckerman who sat right there in that chair and uh, um, said, you know, you just got to do the work. It really comes down to that. Uh, Also, who was here too? Craig Shoemaker. Same thing. Same yeah, thing. Every, that's the, t- the theme throughout from everyone we know. Yeah. So it makes sense. Well, Mrs. Ryan, that's been... What's going on? What's going on? Oh, man. Well, that was fun. How are you yes. doing? That was enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the Amy story. Like, I'm such a fan again of hers. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, the person I'm a fan of today happens to be Wayne Fetterman, so let's take a quick break, and we'll get him in here. Um, I'm going to play for you a little bit of a clip. For anybody who doesn't know Wayne Fetterman, you you will in a second, for sure, but uh, I'm going to play a little bit of a little introduction. Okay. And then we'll be back in a few minutes. More to come right after this. Wayne Fetterman will be sitting right there. Cool. I didn't break your glasses. It was the hug that broke him. It wasn't you specifically, yeah, okay. but you were the yeah. one who instigated the hug. Is that your wife, Nancy? Right here, Don. Can I come over this afternoon and touch your face? It's the real Ned 8 at gmail.com. At gma- you mean Gmail? Oh, is that how you say it? So is this a forgery or is this a real thing? I liked the name Wayne until the fourth grade when my teacher was like, you know, Wayne is also a word. I go, I did not know that. She goes, yeah, it's a verb. I go, what does it mean, like to run or to play? She's like, oh, no, no, no. I mean, it's a diminish slowly over time. Well, those guys, they're, uh, they're working, but I thought we'd play, you know, just together. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. But actually, that'll give us a chance to talk about that business deal I mentioned on the phone. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. What? You get it. I get the gist, yeah. yeah. Okay. Am I the only one that's uh, concerned that this spot plays like we want Governor Lester to die? Yeah, at Fetterman. Twitter.com, at Fetterman. I'm shutting it down tonight. (laughs) She also designed a line of faux fur panties. Uh Uh-huh. She's a friend to the animals as well as a philanthropist. You know, I made a career out of being in one scene in a movie and then never seeing me again. I guess you're right, right? Yeah. One scene and out. I call it the Fetterman and out. Uh, George Simmons just showed up. He wants to go on. So you are bumped. Okay, okay. How, how, how long does he do? How the fuck should I know? He hasn't been here in five years, but you gotta be ready. Okay. Okay. Hey, do you know who that guy is? I don't even know who I am. Oh, well, you're Pablo Picasso. I don't think he really understands the responsibility. I, that's what he said. Okay, what's the snowman look like? Like a snowman. He looks like a snowman. Five eight. Okay, fine. White, Caucasian. You're still on the clock. Oh, shit! You gotta do something. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 Hideki Matsui. That money's my daughter's college tuition. Yeah? Well, she just got accepted to the School of Hard Knocks. Can you just show me the department where there would be phones? Hey, have you been doing a lot of this? Oh, 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 Sir, please. <laughs> Are you ready to rock? Uh, no, Mr. Doc, and we're not. Uh... <laughs> There's 12,000 of us here. We've been chanting your name for 20 minutes. We're wasted. We're here to do a round table on the Peloponnesian War. We thought... Light goes off. That's pretty much my day. dark as per your yeah. request. Yeah. They're certainly right. infected, good but... Co- guests try to be good here. Thanks for reading. You're welcome. 
All right, Mrs. Ryan, we are back. Hello, yes. everybody. Hello. Wayne Fetterman is here. Welcome, Wayne Fetterman. Thank you. Thank you. I like that you direct the show and host the show and do the music. Thanks for noticing. It's and a lot. Line and the Miss Lazy over here just puts on headphones, and that's all she does. Totally. I didn't want to come I right out and it. say it. I'm glad you brought it up. She's smart. <laughs> so smart. Someone's smart. I sit here and try to not look like I'm in pain. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all right, too. That's um, how you doing, Mr.? I'm swell. Thank you for the Coca-Cola. It's nice to be here. <laughs> I uh, noticed that you guys are a fan of Skippy Peanut Butter, also a fan of the Skippy Peanut Butter. <laughs> oh, did you go through the I house? went through your whole house. Oh, that's amazing. Thing. I don't know if you know. Does, does everyone know that this is your house? Or yeah, might yeah. we be allowed to talk about that? Oh, sure. Okay, I have a crazy question. Okay. Because you rent it, right? Yeah. And it's incredible what you did with it. With well, the skyline. It's gotten nuts. Yeah. Um, just ballpark, what does something like this cost to rent in 2019? How long have you been here, and what does is, what is something like this kind of cost, just so I know? I can tell you that another place, yeah? not here, not, not, this. not this one, but very, very similar, just rented for, I think, about four grand. Four grand. Yeah, but you pay so. less than that, we do by the way you're saying that. that. Correct. Okay. That's correct. We've would been you, here a little it longer. Would it be half of that? It would be more no. than half than More that. than That's all yeah, I need to know. Be okay. more than half and that's that. every month. You write That's them a correct. check. That's correct. Do you do direct deposit? Do you have it go right out of your account? How do you do it? Uh, I think we write a check. You do and yeah. put it in the mail. It's the it's only piece. It's the only uh, uh, article. It's the only check I still write. It's yeah, yeah, paper. yeah. I'm just curious about yeah. life. I'm always. <laughs> I am a very that, the one thing. That's the one thing you should know about me. I'm super curious about life. All you've done That's since awesome. you've gotten here is ask questions. So no, that makes I am. perfect I love sense. It. To me. You don't but even in, necessarily get to the answers. This, so this would be the study. It's a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> it's a two bedroom, two bath, and we're calling it the studio. But this was this like a was, study bon- it was, was a bonus this? room technically. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's what they called it. I really like it. Really like it. So um <laughs> so so we're using it to, to for this purpose. We don't need it. So, you wouldn't be here Incredible. if it was a study. How's that? Yeah. What do you mean? I be, you probably wouldn't be sitting in our study right now. Oh, like because we wouldn't know. Yeah, each there other? wouldn't be. Well, there yeah, wouldn't yeah. be a reason to. <laughs> I guess, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you, another question again, okay. super okay. curious. All right. Not about the Skippy. Okay. But about J. Sure. Does that stand for something? No, it's just the letter J. Oh, the, your whole life? That's on your birth certificate. Nope. I didn't think so. But it's so al- why the almost lie? my whole life, more more than not. When I was 18 years old, I mean, you really want to get into this? When I was no, 18 I years old, my dad died, and there was a family fucking kerfuffle because yeah. of some history yeah. that happened way before I was even born. Okay. But from the mom's side and the dad's side. So once they were divorced from when I was a kid, but once one died, yeah. I lost the whole other side because of this other turmoil. That, okay. Whatever. Um, and with that, I also, it was a very ethnic sounding last name, and I don't really look I'm not very, talking about your last name. I'm talking about your first the name. Whole it's thing. all together. My name was uh, Ryan J, and then a different last name. So I got rid of the last oh. name and just switched it, J Ryan. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Thank you. Thank sure. you. Sorry. I feel like I triggered something. And <laughs> no, I, but I, cry I, about I, your dad. I, it's not something I. <laughs> Sorry. It's I not we were something I talk about time. very often. Nicole, we're often trying to have because. a good time here. And- Suddenly, uh, you have to talk about your dad. So, what's your deep darkest secret? <laughs> That's not even my. I, I'm. I mean, I guess I do have some. I guess I do have some. Uh, can I start with the fact yes. that I have, uh, without making this sound any more insulting than it's, it, it's yeah. impossible not to, I've grown up watching you. I, I, I'm How grown up you? a fan of comedy. Forty-one years old. I've oh, grown okay. up a fan All of right. comedy. You could say, yeah. Um, and I thought you were a Porsche fan. Well, I, you don't have more than one interest. Okay. I like that you ask me a question when I ask you a question. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Is so this going to be you, a problem, Wayne Fetterman? No, going to be no, difficult? I'm very difficult. <laughs> what What would you say you like more, Porsches or comedy? Without a doubt, comedy. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Can you we don't talk know much about, about before, my history. I don't know much about you. I assume... See, I... I had, a ske- I had a skeleton in my closet for a long you time, did. having nothing to do with the name. Does it have and to do with Nazi David, Germany? Da- no, David Letterman stuff. Oh, it does. And then, and, then, um, and then, you know, throughout this whole process. But it's just, I've never met anyone, you know, I mean, I know Seinfeld collects the Porsches. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, more than anybody, probably. Right, right, right. And I have to say, that video you showed earlier, that was riveting. I mean, when they pulled... The cover the off. cloth off yeah. of that. I was. I almost thought. I was like. I don't think I can follow that. That's rich. I don't think. And my favorite part about the video was in the middle of it, the music fades out. Then the music. A, a couple seconds of silence, and then new music comes in. It was they the same even song. Cross faded. That is uh, Ray Schaefer from Porsche, who is Ray? just Ray Schaefer from. 
Porsche Corporate, who has okay. actually just started um, making these videos and contributing for us. We're trying to get something going here, and we're With we're them. all so we're don't all, make fun of Ray. No, go ahead if you want, but it's a learning <laughs> process. It's only his third video he's ever done. You know what I mean? So it's one of those where right, I think right. it's pretty good considering. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry to insult it. I Boy, just thought Fetterman came if in anyone too. said, he, can can I send him iMovie or something like that so he knows <laughs> how to put this together? I, see, the truth is about a year and a half, two years ago, I was exactly where he is and I bought the same equipment. So right. I know all of those songs because they're all oh, they preloaded are? in the yeah, equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I can tell the learning process having gone through it myself. Just so you know, before we get to Wayne Fetterman and my career and sorry to make fun of Mr. Schaefer, I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy, but... But you're not going to have a Porsche uh, but he's brand the head ambassador of Porsche, anytime soon. And he's maybe no, he's just a very good friend of ours. Okay, okay. Uh, is that I've never owned a Porsche. You Did, like cars too, though. I do. I'm more of them. I hate to say it. It's going to sound super boring and cliche, like a muscle car guy. Like, Why I feel is that? Like, That's awesome. I feel like everyone is. I feel no. Like, no? Not Nicole, anymore. What? It's evolution. What we happened now? What is the has next change? What is the next? Because whenever I, I think go- it's coming back to muscle, quite frankly, because it's been Porsche for like five, six years. Yeah, it's like what, what age it's you're at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe so, Rogan loves muscle cars. Right now, he the does? biggest thing is Japanese imports. The, the Honda. Oh that we yes, drove yes. In the 90s. I know That's somebody. the biggest thing right yes. now. The Isuzu's and all the yes. shit that you can't get. Right, anymore. right, right. The stuff I, we threw away. <laughs> of course, that's a given. That's a given. No, I know somebody who imports those. Really? Yeah. Well, I his wife does sound mixing for award shows and i write on award shows and yeah. i was talking to her once she's like yeah do so you we- fancy yourself more of a writer than, no, than a no. performer okay mm, i'm in order obviously comedian actor then writer and the oh, rest of the right. stuff yeah All yeah right. yeah so um but yeah, it was. Uh, so I'm into muscle cars. So that's like my. What what type? But what is? Yeah, I mean, why don't you guess what my favorite? Sixty seven <laughs> Ford Shelby GT. That's five hundred. That's a good guess. If you want to be wrong, go ahead. I don't know the names of anything. You ready? GTO. Close, close. The, the GTO is okay. close. I like for some reason the Cutlass four four two. Oh. Th- do you it's, know that car? Yeah, but it's it's there's three different. It's all different. It's a bunch of different things. What do you mean? Uh, the Cutlass 442 was also uh, was it? There also? was a badge over there. Was they were like three because it was a GM car. Yeah, so they yes. were all there was. The, was I can't the, remember what they all the were. The Chrysler but, thing and the yeah 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 exactly. <laughs> um, but that's a really cool car. And do you yeah. know what the 442 meant? If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to get this wrong. And this is forever on the internet, so this is going to be great. It was. Uh, <laughs> Four barrel, four on the floor, and dual exhaust. Is that close? I think it is close. I think we it don't is, have to look it I up. I think it is. So I'm close. sure somebody will tweet me, and then we'll be like, "You don't mind if I use your camera, though, right? I'm not looking it up over here. What Do you want me mean? to look it up? No, 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 no. I don't like. I like don't living look, in the analog world. Yeah. Too. I like. Yeah. Uh, I would. Love I, I don't mind being do wrong rather than like, uh, uh. Like, what is the point of looking it up? Like, <laughs> I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Look, I, yeah. Yeah. I think it's something like that. It's a moment killer, isn't it? Because we were having a moment where yes, we were discussing it all at like. a table or whatever, and then all of a sudden you just, oh, great. Stop. Next. Everyone stop. Next. <laughs> but I know, you know. Uh, but that's, you know, obviously. The do key. you have one? A cell phone? No, Yes, I do. Cutlass 442? Cl- yeah. No, no. I, I wouldn't. Is that a someday thing, or you wouldn't, no, you I would wouldn't never. put the money into the car? A friend of mine, I'm not going to mention his name. Which, who is it? He's, uh, uh, when he came out here, got like a very cool Dodge Dart. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you know that car. And yeah. this was a while ago. Yeah, the, yeah. The this, old Dodge Dart, not the new. No, the old Star, Dodge okay. got a vintage Dodge Dart, and that looked great. And he drove it around, and it kept breaking down. And then, like, he lo- looked like the coolest guy in town. And then the next thing you know, he has a you know Civic or yeah. something like that. He's like, yeah. I need to be able to get to these appointments. Yeah. So practicality uh, becomes an issue. Yes, practicality point. becomes, and because I'm not great fixing cars, like if that was part of, am I wrong? I don't part know, of the enjoyment is being able yeah, to go put your assume, hands on it. I would assume, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to constantly, yeah. So that's well, you're why you're too busy for that. I'm too busy for that. I, I like to concentrate on just the eight things I do. So you asked me which one I like more. I like comedy. So we started talking about cars. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely sensing a pattern here. No, um, I like. I would no, like, I would like talking about cars. Like. I would like to bring up some stuff that I grew up with that you were on from <laughs> Amen, L.A. Law, yes. Doogie Howser, Different World. I grew up with all of these shows. This yes. is the time when I was impressionable watching television. I was an mm-hmm. only child, divorced parents, as we mentioned. Right, right. I was hating my last name about at the to time. Flip your name around. <laughs> about to do the name flip. I know the whole story. I know the origin story now. <laughs> um, 
wh- how Excuse did me. you? How did yeah. you? Uh, no, I'm all right. I'm first as well. I'm just right. for you. Uh, okay. Getting over a cold. Yeah. Well, actually, flu. Oh. Yeah. Even worse. We're influenza. The whole thing influenza. Down. Right. Which in 1918 killed millions of people. Yeah. How? We're so lucky. That's only 100 <laughs> years ago. 101 years ago. The stuff I just mentioned is from my childhood. These days, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Crashing, uh, my personal so you're not favorite, Larry, talk about Larry Sanders. Millions of people being killed. You, you would rather talk about Amen. I, I like Her- Sherman go. Helmsley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, what's important? Amen, amen I had real. an issue with. Wasn't an Amen a double spinoff and then Sherman Helmsley? It wasn't. Tell wasn't, me. If I could remember, wasn't Amen a spinoff of 227, which was already a spinoff of uh, Jefferson's? So there in fourth, then Sherman came back playing a different character than George Jefferson. Oh, that's a good question. I don't. I mean, we're not going to look it up. But no, we're not going to. We're not going to. But it's something I've always thought about because back in the you, day, are I, thought, you I had old an enough issue to know it. that show. Amen. Because it was the same network. So. Yes even. and no. I I have a weird understanding Jack of history show, of stuff. Was she really? I think so. Jack A was on 227. She was not on Amen. I don't think so. Right. I don't, again, so yeah, rumors I don't get know. started. But Wayne Fetterman was. I was on one episode of Amen, and I think that Sherman Helmsley. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. I always screwed up. Is was one of the great sitcom actors. I put him in the top twenty of all time. It warms my heart to hear you say I that. I just agree. feel like he's never gets the credit. Didn't he, he have everything? He had the talent. He had the face. He could do the comedy and the straight stuff. It was unbelievable. And he like, would play the fool like nobody. It was incredible. Like Fred Sanford. All in the. I feel. I felt like he was better than Red Fox. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I feel like he was in a whole different league than that. That's awesome. Than that, but that's my opinion. I know he, he's no longer around, right? No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but I was thrilled just to watch him, and it was just great. It was that's great. amazing. I've never had a conversation with anybody about Sherman Helmsley. Yeah, I, I think know. it's amazing. This is a big day. Lit up. It is a big a day big for me. Day. This is the things that make what my have we world talked go about around. So far, we've talked about the four four two. We've talked about the price of this apartment. <laughs> We've talked about the two, the, the two two seven. We did a two two seven and four four two in the same. Oh my gosh! Yeah, a lot of that numbers. is crazy. It's a big day. That is crazy. It's a big day. The um, influenza e- epidemic of nineteen eighteen. <laughs> All right. So it seems to be hard to get you down on anything. Can you tell me anything about working with Gary Shandling on Larry Sanders? Because that is not only one of my favorite shows of mm-hmm. all time. He was one of my favorite human beings of all time. I met him. Did not know him well at all. How did you meet him? Man? Saturday Night Live. I used to work at Saturday Night Live, and he. Used oh, to you come did. Show sometimes. SNL. Mm-hmm. He hosted once. Did you know that? I did not know that. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, and that's amazing. That. Ah, that is weird. That is wild. That's wild. Weird, stuff. wild stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I was very extremely f- of the two best things I've done in my career on camera, outside of my stand-up, which is uh, the Larry Sanders Show and Curb Your Enthusiasm mm. for different reasons. But the Larry Sanders Show has a. It's just, it was ridiculous. I don't know if you know this. I played his brother. Yeah, I, I love the episode. Sanders, and um, and then Who's became the, the, friends with him. Then was part of his, played in his basketball you game. You did? Well, yeah, yeah. I was not only oh, in the wow. game, the commissioner of that game for years, and then co-produced the documentary that was on HBO. Home box J- office is called. J- it's like a pay. <laughs> yeah. You have to buy like a different tier to get that. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's not come with the basic package. No, cable system? Yeah, some sort of premium cable. Premium cable. Yeah, yeah. It's a no, premium no, cable. No, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I used to yeah. love that sound. <laughs> Can I, I I'll love do my your... impression of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a lot of static. I didn't yeah. know any of that. Uh, the you documentary didn't. Well, is... Well, maybe you do some research before you... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I did. I looked up two I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sometimes when I get sarcastic, it comes off as mean. I apologize. But you're talking about the Judd Apatow... One Zen, of the Zen galleries, Zen Zen diaries of uh, yes, of, uh, yeah, Gary yeah. Shanley. Four hours, four and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. no, I've seen it all twice. Oh, you have? Maybe yeah, yeah I'm ready oh, to watch it again. Oh, the day it came out, we were. You like, did? I, yeah, yeah I, I love it. What did you get out of it? I Let's got, start with Nicole okay, because good. I feel like you're talking too much. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> um, what I got was the brilliance of comedy minds. Uh, and that's yes. what I used to work with, and that's what right, I love. Right, I right. get it. So it's like. It's some of it, like kind of like the Amy story. Like some of it sounds crazy, and like that's what I love about people that like comedian good people love I- I- intric- intricacies of people. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's so cool, and there was so much of that in there yeah. about Gary that I didn't know about. He was an incredible, dude. Incredible. It was it was thrilling to work. It took us two years. Yeah, like a year For the to kind doc? of like yes, yeah, from the start to get it done. Yeah. And I look, I, I know I'm saying co-producer. It was mainly Judd and other people, yeah. but uh, 
but just to watch how that you know getting the footage and then reading those diaries i'm like oh my god this is like That's you're inside nuts. somebody's head for decades yeah so how about you you no, I'm just such a – oh, man, I, gosh, I, that was that was a shot of me looking at you there in just a, a daze. Um, I, 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 he – I can't explain it because I didn't know him well, but he – everything he did spoke to me, and I read really? between his lines, and it was – everything he didn't say is what I got from him. And uh, I feel like in the weirdest way, like a lot of people, I feel like I got something when he died because mm-hmm. – when he left this, she she was out of town, and I was driving somewhere, or whatever. And she said, "Pull over. Let me know when you're pulled over, and I got to tell you something, whatever the fuck." And I was like, "Oh, Gary Shandling just died." And I was like, "I had just decided that he was going to help me tell a story, like whatever, you know, you know how it is in your head. Yeah, you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. he's the guy who's going to help me, blah blah blah." So my world just kind of cracked open, and uh, and and ever since then, it's almost like there was a once you you put that away, there was a clarity of of uh, a path and a trajectory that I don't feel I would have gotten to on my own without whatever I had to deal with to mm-hmm. to go through that. Uh, I don't know. Would you call it a, I don't know, when, whenever somebody dies, I don't know, a, a gr- grieving process? Is that, because I didn't know him. It's it not really different. like that. It, it was different. It was something different. Such a, you know, he's such a raw guy. Yeah. He's just amazing. Yeah. Anyway. It's a different kind I'm of light I'm very emotional, too, and he wore his day. emotions. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. No, that was his, uh, that's why I especially love our parallels to Seinfeld throughout that documentary because we see him young and the thing and then right at the end when Gary's talking about dying I mean it's like on the comedians and cards yes yeah yeah. Yeah. insane and so uh, I'm just what kind of car were they in were they in a Porsche 911 turbo so just wow all right this is awful <laughs> now i'm crying uh, don't get me started oh, yeah, uh, that's right the luckily tissues, <laughs> i have the tissues and the coca-cola um, numb it all all right well then you became friends and everything i didn't no, even realize I, all can that I, before we get, I, the point i want to make was that jerry seinfeld is like a uh, is is like a porsche he is like a meticulous like his jokes are like works precision precision yeah. works of art and gary's not like a porsche at all even though he did drive one believe mm-hmm. it or not for a while uh, so he uh he was very much emotional like you were talking about yeah. i don't know if that's what attracted you guys to him and like he liked discovering things on stage and like being in the moment even if it was awkward and, i like that too and all of, to me yeah. that's where the real stuff yeah, lies. yeah you won't find that with Jerry you Seinfeld. see his no he cuts Jerry's, it out yeah, Jerry Seinfeld is like a, a surgeon, <laughs> yes. and I couldn't be a bigger fan of Jerry Seinfeld. Look, I just here. think he's a genius. So, but that's that's the interesting part is like they both, even when they were talking on the bench, they, it's just great. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, the, but that you was have from such a good that was insight. what? Yeah, I think it's a real. We were trying to establish that there's like you're both doing stand up comedy, and one's from like in a more emotional, and one's more. And the, the pacing surgical. and the cadence is all different too. Yeah. When you talk about the bench, or you're talking about actually about from uh, uh, from the Gary Shandling DVDs 100%. way back when. Yeah, yeah. I, I was obsessed. Oh, so I yeah. bought whenever they came. The yeah. first collection yeah. came out that was only like a little bit, and then right, another right, one came right, out, right, and so right. on and so forth. Yeah. Um, uh, all right. So we know that you became friends with them, and you certainly got to know luckily, them everything. But luckily, what what about luckily. the working experience? When you, I love that episode when you play the brother who's always kind of got an angle, and he's right, trying right, to, right. You know, he just wants to connect with money. the brother, and the brother is just interested in making money off <laughs> everything so from the baseball cards to the final episode. It's, it's just the worst nightmare. It's the age old problem of humanity, right? There's this guy, and there's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so funny. I don't know. I was, do you remember it? I mean, I remember all of it, but. It, it, it's right around the corner at Radford, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I had auditioned for another episode that I didn't get. So they had brought me back. Luckily, they had brought me back. Um, I, I, it's one of those, I was just trying not to let my nerves ruin the performance. Yeah. <laughs> it, was li- it was literally. It was a long time ago now, too. It was, li- you know, and he put me right at ease. And, you know, he's like, I know we're looking at Woody Allen right here with Humphrey Bogart. Yeah. Um, but it's like Woody Allen. Like Woody Allen, apparently in his movies, I haven't been in one. What I've been, been done extra work on one. But he, did you? Yeah, yeah. Which I'll, one? I'll tell you about it. It's called Scenes Ray- from a Mall. As a matter of fact, again, wrong. I love your guessing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love much. that you throw it out there. I appreciate it. It's, it's, so it's a numbers good. game one of these it's days. Right? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was optimistic. There's a donkey in there. Um, it's, uh, 
It was called Radio Days. <laughs> oh, I, I saw that in the theater. You wouldn't believe it. I really did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> but anyway, so Gary was very nice about letting me just kind of put the you know a lot of the lines in my own words and stuff like that. And it was just, uh, it was phenomenal. It was fun. I mean, my favorite thing that I said brings it back, not to Letterman, but to Carson, was like, how many people watched Carson's final show? And he goes, I don't know, thirty million. I go. That's why Carson's an idiot. Like that was something I came up with, and I just, I can't believe it made the final cut because I just think it's because it was a, so asinine to say it's to just that a character. Craziest <laughs> thing to say. The mo- one of the most successful people in Johnny the history. Johnny Carson, what a hack! What an idiot! Yeah, yeah. Carson's an idiot. <laughs> like, there's no one who dismounted more beautifully. The slow, the whole push, thing. The slow push in on your face. <laughs> well, he's an idiot. It's like what? <laughs> just it was just it was wonderful. It was really. Um, <clears throat> Again, a career highlight. But whatever, yeah. whatever. So that's Well, you mentioned Kirby Enthusiasm too. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's another favorite for mm-hmm. most fans of comedy. Uh yeah. and you said that that was one of your favorites as well. What what how was that experience? Well, that one was because I feel like that let me do like there's no lines written. He just writes the premise and the, then just the premise of what you have to do. Yeah, we'll walk in, we'll look at the that room will so go if there's to the any back, fulcrum I'll points we the, need this yes. to get to that and that's it okay. he didn't use the word fulcrum but yes that oh, is correct sorry no i love it i love it <laughs> that's geometry right i'm an engineer brain trying to work of comedy course. you know why do you <laughs> i'm not making fun of you <laughs> it's so, hard to uh, tell it's hard to tell <laughs> <laughs> i just i'm very i'll fun. take it i'll take it <clears throat> so anyway so that was so i get to write like everything and then we would do it over so it was at uh, and I just felt like I hooked into it, r- luckily, right away. And Larry was laughing a lot. It was just like, just I don't even have anything to say to you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Wow. What and a compliment. So, That's a great compliment. It was incredible. Yeah. And then they brought me back years later, and that went great. And it was just uh, really lucky, really lucky. And just made me feel like, oh, oh I have some comedic oh. gifts but on a high level. Because when you do stand-up, you know, you're doing great. You, and, know. you know, I don't have like I don't have like this phenomenal stand-up career. I have this kind of middle stand-up career, and so it's. I don't know why you're laughing. I feel like your career is wherever you want it to be. Aren't you right sized or are you looking to do I'm, something? Oh no, I'm still. I'm still. Okay. What do you think this is? Uh, universal sign for <laughs> climbing. Yes, it's that's a sports it. term. I'm like oh. scratching and climbing and shaking bushes. I'm laughing because I think you're just such a funny, organic oh, human. Thank you, thank you. So I'm sure your stand-up will be great. Oh. even if it's here, it sounds which like I something my mom would say. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm because like because I mom. like you. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you're thank a nice you, boy. That's right. Well, <laughs> um, hold on, I have to cough. <laughs> better than not liking you no i appreciate it i appreciate uh, it so uh so curb your enthusiasm so and was, so that was it so yeah, that okay. it was just a complete like that it's dawning I me mean, uh, right now though are you way, the one that was you are the neighbor that liked the julia louis yes, dreyfus yes. and that left the book and the whole thing remember yeah. the notebook and all that <laughs> shit that was a great episode thank you no i'm th- again, like a real it there's might have two been a, things i these are my two favorite things i've ever done in wow. you know acting wise so it's uh well, scene stealers for sure on those two well that's I don't know part of your scene, creation i thought right? i was more seen i know you're saying scene stealers but i thought i was more seen enhancers like i had this scene i was like you know i think i can bring this to uh the highest level or a higher level i think you did it i think you yeah, thank you we really really enjoyed your work well, guys thank you <laughs> no i mean i don't like talking about myself that much, but those are those are two definitely all right origin stories we don't have to get too deep but how did you get into comedy you you clearly have a, a cool. it's in you yeah 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 i think i do have like a comedy rhythm about me right yeah calls life she's like yeah and she's worked with a lot of people yeah um you have it or you don't I uh, I was a funny kid. And what does that mean? Making friends laugh? Making family laugh? I'll tell you what, you, or are you making adults these laugh These are as good a kid? questions. These are good questions. I was making adults laugh. I could make friends laugh. But when I was in school, I was making teachers laugh. That's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's fun. Laugh. It's way better than work. What? It's way more fun. I did, it was the same way, but I found that there, I found, I got way more out of the response from the teachers when they would find me funny, or the, and then the kids would laugh, than whatever the heck the assignment or the curriculum was. That's not what I had at all. So oh, I know okay. you're pretending you're, we have the same thing, but we don't. <laughs> oh, okay. I know you think we're the same, but not. No, I'm kidding. Um, 
<laughs> no, because I liked. I'm a, I'm a curious person, so I I didn't mind doing work. I like I don't I never mind doing like work. Okay. And I was I hate to say I'm a phenomenal test taker. Oh yeah. Like I'm one of like like I could just skate through and then take the test and then okay. get a B plus or an A minus. You know what I mean? Like easily. Braggers. So what? Braggers. I know. I know. I know. It's incredible. But I uh, the. Uh, but not, I wasn't like valedictorian or anything. I wasn't like one of those, you know, studying all the time kids. Nerd. Nerd. Yeah, nerd. <laughs> nerd. I'm not making fun of you. Nerd. But the, uh, no, but what I was trying to say was there was a number of kids that could make other kids laugh and be disruptive. And I always thought like, well, that's not that hard to do. Hacky. Not hacky, but I just felt like you're hitting from the ladies tee. I know that sounds like an ex- <laughs> sexist example, but I think Hacky's looking pretty good now. I huh? didn't know. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> ladies' well, D. The ladies' no, D is closer to the hundred percent. Like it's. I, I don't know if that's a. So yeah, I've always felt like it was hitting from the ladies' D, and I was like, all right, now if I can make the teachers laugh, I think we're on to something. Yeah. So you're challenging yourself. I'm you sure. saw that. Well, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Excuse me. Versus living in a place of, uh, well, this is easy, convenient. I got Let's it. keep. Yeah, I can just ramp up a <laughs> well, little bit here and there. There was a bunch of very disruptive kids who were kind of fun. You mm. know what I mean? In, in my school, I went to. Where are you I'm, from? Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> I went to high school in well, maybe the most racially insensitive name for a city in the United States. Okay. It's called Plantation. That is the name of the city. Okay. Where is it? Get ready, Florida. Okay. I know you're shocked. That's where I would have expected it. <laughs> I don't know why you had to Bummer. ask that question. Bummer. I was hoping you'd say Connecticut. <laughs> Maine. <laughs> right. Right. Calgary, actually. No, it's in a Confederate state. Plantation Calgary. <laughs> it's, it's, in a, it's in a Confederate state. So, oh. Holy shit, Wayne. All right. All right. So, so. And to make it worse, and I talk about this in my act, uh, I went to South Plantation High School. Mm, that is right. the name I, So I'm in the less progressive part of place <laughs> called Plantation. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Until what age? <laughs> five days. I left Florida five days after graduating. Oh, sh- high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So that's a whole upbringing. A plantation <laughs> yeah, yeah, state. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then went to NYU drama school and all of that stuff. How did that? How, that's a gap for me. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, all right. You were making teachers laugh through school and growing your, your interest in comedy? Yeah, and I, okay. There's, yes. And I also did like was in the plays and okay. did ventriloquism, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, that's humiliating, but that's yes, all right. I did that. And um, Did you do any tech in the plays, too, or just, just performance? That's a good question. I, I did help a little with more crew, more like building sets and, and flats and, and whatever, things like yeah. that, yeah, than, than the light. But I was interested in light. I'm interested in all of it. Again, well, well, I don't do? care. I was just asking. What is, what is my one thing? What is the one takeaway for Fetterman? Curious. I'm a curious guy. So I am curious about questions. this, this little system, these cameras. Like I am curious. <laughs> it, it gets me in trouble sometimes. Oh, I never noticed the dial phone. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> or rotary. Rotary, they call it, right? That's called that's a rotary. Right. They call it rotary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Here's a little piece of trivia for you. Okay. When they were handing out the area codes, this will be a great example for this. If you may... Uh, that the biggest, most, the biggest cities... Most population. Most population right. were given the smallest amount of dialing really? room. Yeah, 212 is New York. 213 was L.A. I think 312 was Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. So you didn't have... Yeah. Before, it's, le- it's a time saver. But once the buttons, then it was like, 818, we don't care. Yeah, it was a time saver. You knew that, right? I did know that. Yeah, yeah. A but because I love... You look, walk uh, around and you see I love all the old stuff. I love old things. That's uh, and with so that history that comes it. with them. Thank you. Thank you. Super In the other room, speaking of yeah. Sherman Helmsley, is a rotary phone. It's the only rotary phone from the bunker house from All in the Family. It was at the bottom of the stairs on the little oh, table yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, chair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now it's an armor. Yeah. And How'd you get that? I collect, I collect, I collect weird things like that. Give I got, me, a, I got a Hollywood auction. Example. Give me another example. David something. Letterman's microphone? Yeah, well, this is, I know about the table and that. Yeah, something the desk and chairs came from that. This is something I stole when I was a kid from David Letterman, from the Ed Sullivan Theater when I got locked in the studio overnight one time when I was a kid. <coughs> I'm sure you told that story mm-hmm. many times. Okay. That's, that's, that was the skeleton that was in the closet for so long because I then went to David Letterman's house and returned the microphone that I had from my high school show. Oh. Yep. Blow, that's it. Blow, that's blow, it. Blow, that's blow, it. Blow, it. Blow, it. Switch it around. Right there. This was me in high school. 
<laughs> oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. I so, get so, it. so that's that. That's the why of it all. As far as other stuff, yeah, there's all sorts of things. Wow. I think the I canes like that stuff. are from House. Oh yeah, the House. Yeah, the TV show House. I don't know. I like that stuff. I think it's neat. From House, the guy with the bad leg. Yeah, he's in the Porsches too. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You saw the door. It's yeah. a friend's thing, yeah. door. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Are you, were you the front door? I feel like that's the one show you might not have been on. <laughs> I was not on Friends. That's amazing. But I love it. Wish yeah. I was. Really yeah. wish. Just I, I, can I? Ne- I'm not. I'm a television sampler. I'm more of a movie buff. Oh. So I see a lot of movies. Sample television. Okay. So like Game of Thrones, I've maybe I've seen three seen of them. Yeah. You know, Friends now maybe twenty of the two hundred or so. What kind of them. films do you watch? I've seen that. Woody Allen, so but comedies, old comedies, classic. No, I comedies. watch everything from classic to modern. You know, really, you like the Marvel movies and all that stuff. I don't. I don't really yeah. connect to the Marvel movies, but I either. saw the one, the cartoon one with the Spider Verse into the Spider Verse. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a, it's an animated it's version it? of Spider Man. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> so I saw that. I saw when that. I was a kid, Spider Man was animated. It was like a right, Saturday a morning cartoon. cartoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. They actually do a great post credit. Little uh, homage to that. Oh. No kidding. Hilarious. Oh, that's so not funny. funny. Hilarious. All right. Yeah, hilarious. Wow. But you got to get through the whole movie to get to that. Point. Oh god. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys aren't Marvel, but yeah. I mean, yes, I'm more into real movies than in you know comic book movies. I guess is yeah. the name of the genre, right? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Well, so what? Uh, can I ask what year you're born? Sure. Seventy-seven. I know what won Best Picture that year. Do you? No. No idea. What was it? It was a movie called... Oh, thinking about it. Annie Hall. Get Out. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Well, that was an easy one then. Yeah. This is from, uh, uh, what is it, Sam, uh, Played Against Sam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a movie. I believe he didn't even direct that movie. So you're asking about props. That that print, that whole thing is actually from uh, Matthew Perry's office. Oh, from, in France? No, no, no. From uh, from the Studio. Aaron Sorkin show, Studio 60 on the oh, Sunset Strip. Oh, wow, really? So he was sort of the Lauren Michaels for oh, the yeah, show. That yeah. was in his office. Oh, Sorkin, man. What yeah. a genius. The Big best. time. I was just watching A uh, Few Good Men. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> of course I've seen it. You have? Yeah. Oh, my God. So Are you great. kidding? So great. You can't handle it. <laughs> I can handle it. Kevin comments. Pollack? Everybody's yeah, in that yeah, movie. Yeah, it's yeah. great. You know who was supposed to play in that role was Jason Alexander. But he couldn't cause a Seinfeld, and that's how they got the Kevin Pollak role. Yep, get out. Oh, I bet he would have been good because he would have been good. He, he can good. be a yeah, good dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that a launched, good. And that launched Pollak's like career, and he's on Mrs. Maisel's right now. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm behind on that. Yeah, yeah we are too. I, st- I was watching it before everyone else caught on, and then mm-hmm. when everyone else started talking about it, I sort of took a, okay, took okay. a back seat. I'll get back to it. So now you know a lot about Wayne. I like movies. Love movies. I would say I'm a movie buff. Like I go quite a bit. So you go? F- yeah, I oh, you're like a theater I love going, experience. going to the theater. Oh Whoa, shit. Still? Even t- do you go alone these days Sometimes, during the day? Well, also, this is going to sound braggy. It's going to sound braggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do you have a movie pass? <laughs> no, I don't movie have phone? a movie. I mean, <laughs> I but I'm a member of the Writers so Guild of America. <laughs> oh, so you can go. Screen, they do these screenings yeah. every weekend. That's nice. And what's great about going to that theater is like I'm the youngest person there. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> You know, the only one who can make it through with no bathroom breaks. Uh, it's so it's incredible. It's like it's all these retired writers. It's so much fun, and we have the best time. It's a beautiful theater. Yeah, I'm going to see us there this weekend. I don't consider that the movie going experience I by don't any means, either. and I would do that every day. Yeah, go to a private why. screening at the, because it's a private. You don't have yes. to deal with. I don't mean to be a dick because it's 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 not a matter of uh, J Ryan versus the public, right? But truthfully, most people are not really as conscientious as maybe Jay Ryan is. I gotcha. hate, hate the third person thing, but you know what I mean? It's just... Of course, of course, of course. Uh, the, no, the experience is... is different now. Oh, the cell am. phones, the commercials, I'm out. You're out. I don't do it. I haven't been to I a movie. Super it. bad was the last movie I saw. We haven't been to a movie since the we've been together. I mean, we used to go to screenings for, for work and stuff, yeah, right? but I don't count I don't that. Count. They were mandatory. That's you know, interesting. Didn't... And I have, a, I have a 65 inch diagonal television set. So you measure it the normal way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Just making sure. Good. Very good. I like when my own energy comes back out. <laughs> well, me. it was about to happen. Always makes me laugh. Always makes me laugh. 
It is great. I was going to think you're sarcastic. I told you I was on the spectrum, so whatever you give me, it's yeah, going to yeah, come I back. Love it. I love it. I love it. In a really <laughs> honest, very raw way. That's great. That's great. That's great. So I have that that experience, but I love. I but I'll still pay to go move, you know, to a movie theater. Uh, yeah. I want to get back to so you yeah. after high school you went up to NYU. Now, By the way, now we're up in my neck of the woods. I grew up in Connecticut, just outside the city. You did, yeah. Oh, you did. Mm-hmm. That's the area of town. So now, now I'm thinking, oh, if we're anywhere near in age, we may have a few years here which are at least similar interests or something, perhaps. Um, you mean, have I ever been to Connecticut? <laughs> How was your NYU experience? Why did you choose NYU? Because I, I wanted to study. I wanted my goal. This was the goal. This was the Fetterman plan. Become a great comedian who's also very good at acting. Like, that was my two-track career. This, is, I never thought of being like, I didn't want to write on a sitcom. I didn't want to write for Letterman. Didn't write on, write on SNL. Mm-hmm. Didn't want to be a sketch player on SNL. Never was like, a wow. thing. like I want to be a great comedian. You could also act. I thought that would be a great. Uh, so that was my strategy. And then that was I, your plan. Yeah, and then Nailed I auditioned it. for yeah. NYU, and you have to audition for the Tisch School. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No way! I yeah, didn't know that. That's pretty important. Yes, that's the, a big the deal. Meeting and the audition. Yeah. It was so, yeah, and looking back, it was surprising. So, uh, no. So did you do stand up or did you do a no, monologue? No, I did a monologue that I wrote. No way. Again, splashy choice. Holy cow. I know. And it know. worked. Well, what was great about it in the same way in this tie I've never thought about this until this interview right now. It ties into like that curb moment because oh, make they don't know you... the script. Mm. So even if I mess up, they're going to have no idea. Other but if I'm doing Othello, which was my go-to. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but if I'm doing some classic, you know, they know they can. They would like, know. Put it up against that. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that then? I remember these like weird <coughs> tricks from when I was in band camp, but like we had to use Audition? prepared. I don't yeah, know, yeah. No, they wanted stuff. me to do. They wanted me to do a classical, which would be like Shakespeare or something like that, Moliere, and then a modern. Mm-hmm. And they ended up just asking for the modern. Oh, so well I done. had like a little nice. Shakespeare thing memorized, but they asked just like, it. lucky. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm studying studying with the Stella Adler, who's one of the great acting teachers of the last century. That's impressive. Is that yeah. is that is that how you know the name we're not going to say? He also studied with Stella, <laughs> Stella Adler, <laughs> the guy who booked you. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, not the same time. Yeah, yeah, no. I think yeah. So anyway, so I studied with her. So okay, that was great. Yeah, at NYU and then wow. and then the comedy. You know, started auditioning for comedy clubs in New York. So that's got rid it. of the dummy. Got rid of Buford was his name. Oh my gosh! And then little Charlie McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just became a uh, stand-up. And then as soon as I got my SAG card, moved to LA. <laughs> How did you though? Were you doing? <laughs> were, did you were you just auditioning and go? Or were you doing extra great work? Great question. I back back door. Oh, Taft what? Hartley, Mr. Taft Hartley. And, well, in a way, in a way, because you could join something called AFTRA. Those were two oh, separate Oh, I see things. what you did. And then if you get an AFTRA job, that would make you eligible, eligible. To, to join SAG. You had to be an AFTRA for a year. So, But if so I recall, it was, it was just you just paid to get in, right, back then? Into to AFTRA. $300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So you could buy your way into you the You could same. buy your way. You still had to okay. do the work, though, because you had to book that job and yes. get whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you're the only one that's interested in this. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I didn't dig mean it. it. I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean, it's like, I think it's curious. Like, that's how I do. So there was a show called Comedy Tonight, which was a stand-up show out of New York. Bill Boggs hosted it. Vaguely remember. Yeah, and then uh, that was my, and so as soon as I got that after contract. That was the first thing you did that you got paid for? That I got paid on television. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no wow. question. And then, because I had already done a bunch of, you know, stand up shows and colleges and things. So I was making some money. No, but, but like on camera, like, pe- people know where they were in them when they got their SAG card. Like, mm-hmm. that a, is it. Oh, yeah. it was That's huge. That's a huge deal. Huge. That's incredible. What were your driver's license. It's a big deal. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can't tell you. Because I can work now. All of a sudden, I can work. I can go take <laughs> any different. job I can get. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so it was uh, it was great. It was very lucky, very lucky. And then moved to L.A. And then, you know, Seriously, like so that's it? So I was like my, grew up in Florida, go to New York just for school, and then straight to California. No, school and start my stand-up career, become a stand-up, and then came, came to... So how, how old were you when you moved to L.A. then, about? 
I think, uh, well, let's see. I don't know, like 27, 28. That's great. And you've already been doing stand-up in New York, and you're establishing yourself, so you came out here to get the different audiences and get a different experience? Well, it was the biggest pond. It was like, this was the big pond. Even for comedy. And I have to say, I know that the owner of, the booker of the club I worked at, and this is going to be so boring, but (laughs) he was, I know he said that he felt like that maybe I left New York too early. And he might have been right. Still green? Yeah, no, no. I or was just, doing. I, I was really doing great in New York. Oh, okay. But, uh, but that I would have to go to the back of the line, and that maybe it would have been better to be a bigger thing in New York for a few more years. I understand. So you never. So did know. you have to start over a little bit? Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh, huge back of the line. It was like really hard, really hard. Open mic back of the line, or just I know. I'm some, putting yes, on really late. And... Some open mics, and um, yeah. Yeah, we do open mics and or You really have wow, done the work. Started yeah. Wayne Fetterman has done the work to get here. Yeah. I'm a very determined <clears throat> climber. Climber. Yeah. It's all that curiosity. <laughs> I, I think of these as claws. <laughs> He's a bear, man. He's got these claws. I know. I just seem like like in such a nice guy, but I'm like, oh, let's go. Let's but do you're it. not. Let's do it. <laughs> so strategic. Holy cow. But seriously, it's biting. So, why it's- why coke and no water? I don't care, but I'm curious. The first guest who's ever actually said, take this water away. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Coca-Cola. Good for you. Do you have a deal? I wish I did. <laughs> I Let's get you one. Gee, I wish, wish. Yeah, you guys are. You, know what I'm you do your own. <laughs> <laughs> Coke is it. I feel, like you, smile. I feel like you guys are more like this, like chess kind of moves over there. Really? Yeah. We like we prefer Othello, actually. Oh. Uh, Hi-oh. That's cool. yeah. Right back. Right back. It's a different Othello, I think. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm sorry about the coughing, but last week I had the flu. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about your flu. Okay, let's not. You brought it up. Let's not. I just feel bad that I'm How are ruined. you feeling? Are you feeling better? I feel really good today. Great. But you know that it's like one day you're good, and then you're like, oh, good. But um, yeah. Can we talk about uh, uh, y- your experience coming here today yeah. and what the hell you thought this was going to be and then what it actually is? Because I knew what I'm having was- a great time, but I have no idea what this show is going to look like. <laughs> What do you mean? It's good. like I came in. I, and I, I like the whole vibe of the place. You've the been nothing one, but complimentary. This is the one question I have. It's oh, like the feel, one question. Here the one comes the one like, question. Feel like it's warmer in here. Is that because than it was when I first got in here? Is Are that, you getting hot? I turned. I thought it was too cold, so I clicked the AC. Up. I knew it. I would rather have a cooler. <laughs> yeah. Keep your. All right. Well, you don't you go- have a question? Yes, <laughs> I have a question. Um, I think yeah. you've done so much stuff. Do you like yes. acting more in film or TV? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. I think, for me, I think I like, even though the two greatest things I've done, in my opinion, are, are TV. on TV. Thank you so much. Much better. Um, is uh, I think I like being in film. Really? Because I'm a film nut. I knew about Annie Hall in 77. I know about Rocky 1 in 76. Yeah. I know that uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest 1 in 75. Oh, I, love that movie. I know Godfather 2 1 in 74. Are you the into Sting. the Godfathers? Just 1 and 2. Just 1 and 2. So you're yeah, one of those yeah, people, yeah, yeah. the purists. Okay. But so anyway, back to your question. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, wasn't I think here for it this. is a movie. I think I do, even though, I mean, I haven't, you know, I just. You know, you've seen me. I do one scene in a movie and then I'm done. I know the Fetterman thing. Yeah, I, the Fetterman and out. Yeah. yeah. Which is awesome. Thank you. But you have had one scene in some of my favorite movies. Like really? Legally, Give me an example. Legally Blonde. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is my favorite movie I've been in. Really? Come on. You say that about whatever no, someone likes. No, it's not. It's not. And I'm in like not Up shit. and the 40-Year-Old Virgin. But let me tell you why I like Legally Blonde because it plays a lot. Mm. Oh, it that's very nice. It plays a lot. It that's plays very a nice. lot. And um, I feel like it's a female empowerment movie. And it's good. I don't know. You know, I just, I love it. I love that I'm in that movie. Yeah. Yes. I love that you love being in that movie. No, I know you think, you think I was lying to her that. Yeah, I, th- oh, I did. Oh, not lying. Not lying. I thought you were doing your thing you do. And then I thought no. it's very, it's a fine line between Wayne Fetterman's very serious and Wayne Fetterman's fucking with you. Oh, I see. No, 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 no. That's a for reals. That's a for reals thing. That's awesome. And I remember auditioning for that movie. Really? And yeah, we shot it out in Pasadena. 
And oh, wow. you know, I do. A, I do. What's this. the role in the movie? Okay. I mean, I know the movie. I, I remember it. Why you you're like us? a lawyer person, right? You're no, part of the legal Jesus. team. Did I already screw it up? I this remember you looking like one of the lawyers. No, people. this is it. I'm a part. Of, I'm on the Harvard board. It's oh, watching right, her right, video right. to try to get into Harvard Law School. Right. I'm oh, totally wow. coming up with the most strained reasons why she'd be a great candidate. Obviously, right. it's the fact she's in a bikini coming out of this hot tub. This is the Reese Witherspoon we're talking about, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm not totally. It was, it was very legal. No, it was. It in was. In how was. y'all did it, because it was like. Yeah, a, yeah. The four of us, yeah. But it's, it's a great. You you have such compassion and heart for this girl that we're all like, you know, bikini, ditzo, right, whatever. Right, right, and you're right, like, right. no, but she's no, got she's such a friend a heart. of the environment. She's <laughs> a thing. Like all of these. And then on the, the last crashing episode, I talk about like. If she doesn't get into Harvard, there's no movie. So it is a very <laughs> crucial, it's a crucial role. <laughs> right? Totally. Yeah, she's Totally, Ar- you switch the needle. Yeah, she's in Orange County Community College. There's no fish out of water story. <laughs> there's none of it. You're welcome, America. <laughs> Thank you. Two sequels. Is it two sequels? One sequel and a Broadway show. Holy All because crap. of me. All because of me. Well done. Did Thank good. you. Thank you. Did good, sir. <laughs> I haven't. I don't think I've ever actually seen it. No. I remember the thing though. Just, if you exercise, you release endorphins, and that makes you. He couldn't have been in a bad mood, and he couldn't have done it or something like that. Isn't that the movie? It's re- yes. Is it's, it, was that a fair summation? That was yeah, totally. I, I, I know a lot of people love that movie. It's a ridiculous movie, but for my is it a guilty pleasure? Girl, I should like put yeah. on though and see. Yeah. I okay. think it's. I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure no, I, for me. Yeah, I don't think it would be a guilty okay. pleasure for you. Okay. I, I just think it's a. Uh, I think it's funny. Is it a feel good? Yeah, Feel good it's kind of got movie? a nice arc too. I don't know. You tell me. You love the movie. It's it's one of those ones that if it, we don't have cable, we cut whatever. But like if we still had cable and it was on, I would be like I would have to sit down and watch it. Oh okay. Yeah, I've got a ton of those. Yeah, it's one of those. It's uh, my dad took me to see the sequel when I was moving good out grief. here. Yeah, it's weird. Oh okay, you were an adult. Anything with John Candy for me is like that though. You know, just yeah. something that's got yeah, enough familiar yeah. stuff in there that it just. It it's it's it encompasses you for whatever reason. It represents whatever you're all about. Yeah, that summer rental and all that shit. You know, great outdoors and all those. Yeah, I was applying for colleges around that time, so it was really resonant. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect, it was perfect. fine. But yeah. I was up against all those girls that submitted those dumb videos. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Sorry, sorry. So, sorry. sorry. It was no. It was a good learning experience. I got to see everything I was up against. <laughs> it was great, but it was such a good story. I really liked her. She's incredible in it. She's I incredible. I know. All right. What What were you, uh, when we were watching your reel before, you were in something with Steve Heitner. What oh, was, yes. What was that? That's called Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. <laughs> I've seen it, of course. It's not Charlie's Angels 2. It's no, Charlie's not. Angels. It's Bernie Mac on that one, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's... Um, yeah, I remember. Um, Steve Heitner was here <laughs> yes, recently, and I know Steve he specifically well. said, "All right, well, I'm also kind of scoping it out a little bit for <laughs> Wayne Fenneman. I'm, I'm going to report back to Wayne uh, Fenneman. Yeah. He was he was very open about that. Is that is that true? He never he never reported back, oh. but, <laughs> but he is no, one of the good most naturally funny guys yes. I've ever met in my life. He's incredible. I I I actually learned a lot just hanging out with him. Really? Yep. Yep. How, how do you know each other? Just from meeting no, on the set? No, we used to do stand up together in New York. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And then we roomed together and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I you know come he out here I'm about sure the same he, time? Yeah, I'm sure he didn't bring He came out after I moved out. He, he like, he followed you out. Yeah, okay. you, you paved the road. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sure. Like, yeah. No, I love that guy. And he's uh, just, he's hilarious. He's just, just yeah. you know, on so many levels, it's just great. But you guys are on the same level. And do, do you realize that? Do you both realize that? That when other, when other people look at, well, everything you just described about Steve Heitner is how we and other people feel about you. Oh, well, are you aware you. of that? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, I just said that I learned how to do comedy a little bit watching Steve Heitner in social mm. situations. Mm. That's so how you feel about you're me. Saying. That's how you feel about me. <laughs> I've learned a lot about you social have? situations from you in this one interview. I'm happy <laughs> to would pay it forward. It's nothing I created from Heitner to Fetterman to Nicole. We it's do the whole. Energy. It's how thing. it goes, man. Yeah, I love it. I feel love the it. love of comedy. It just <laughs> absorbs. It. It's great. <laughs> I love it. This is an old school <laughs> podcast. You know what I mean? Like an old school, like just fucking there whatever. No, everyone. I yeah, I it. like it. First of all, I like that podcasts can be old school at this point. <laughs> Would you consider this a podcast? I no, I always thought it was like a 
like online. a YouTube TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I what it was I a consider YouTube it. TV too. show. That's I didn't what... think it was a podcast. The only reason You're I right. thought it was a podcast is because of Nicole and the headphones. Yep. That's to me that screams says, podcast. says podcast. That screams po- doesn't say. Oh, should I take them? No, off? I no. like it. I like it. I like. It. I right. feel like you're. It's a hybrid. She likes the Princess Leia thing. Uh, yeah. It's a happy accident. I get to take right? from that. Yeah. That also came out in 1977. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are you a Star Wars fan? I, mean, uh, I couldn't give a shit. Re- eight. Couldn't give a Why shit. None here? of them. I just deleted six of them off the media server because I needed room. Can you believe that? I can't. I want to get well, a hard drive I mean, in the meantime. I needed, it, needed hard two drive. of them are good movies. I could understand you get a real six, but yeah, I like Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, I'm into it. I'm into the history of movies. So it's like that's a very. I appreciate it for what it. If did I'm not culturally. mistaken, that's the most that made more money in the '70s than any movie. That was released that decade. I think than anything but oil. It was so much. Yeah, like well, the, the 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 toys was the biggest thing. I just can't can't. No, I'm talking about box office. I'm talking about like the number of people that saw that movie oh, than any other movie. And okay, let's do this a little trivia. Okay. What movie made more money in the '80s than any movie? Ooh, the '80s. Boy, I'd have to go to something like a. Aliens or something like that. I don't know. Aliens? No, that's not correct. Charles okay. Ford. Well, you love what? my guess. You love my incorrect <laughs> guesses. So. No, that's not correct. Charles <laughs> Ford, I think, was in the nineties. That's no. terrible. That was eighty nine, <laughs> and that was the worst movie. Um, I'll give you the year. I'll give you a hint. Okay, that would help. Nineteen eighty two. Oh shit, eighty two. Oh early. Yeah, it might be a little bit before. I don't, I don't know. know. By maybe the best, one of the greatest directors of all time. Spielberg director. Yeah, I was going to say Spielberg. In 82, so E.T. Yes. Yeah, 82. Yeah. Hey. Okay, let's do the That's 90s. That's the biggest let's... moneymaker in the 80s? Yep, yep, yep. Holy shit. Let's do the 90s. You guys are old enough for that, right? I would guess Titanic on that Tonight, one. Titanic is yeah. correct. 1997. Well, that was the first yeah. one to hit a billion, wasn't it, worldwide? I th- it was something. It was a big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That something. was when that was like a big deal. A billion was a lot. Yeah, a billion was a million yeah. back then. Right, right. I loved it. Thank wow, it's, all right. it's ridiculous. That though. was fu- you really do know a tremendous amount. Do I like s- the movies. I like. I mean, but I go back to like the forties. Like I really like old movies oh, too. I like the whole it. thing. Yeah, yeah. How it's fu- not that f- Humphrey Bogart. Sh- you like stuff like that or yeah. like African Queen maybe. I mean that. Yes, I like the African Queen, but I like <laughs> I, the Warner Brothers system and all of those <laughs> movies are great. There's, uh, but again, I just feel like it's not that old. I mean, it started in really feature films. 1915, so we're, so it's 104 years of movies. You know, <laughs> I've been around. You know, I'm gonna be 60, so I've been for a, for a bunch. Are you of, really? Good for you. Yeah. Oh Jesus, <laughs> it's the worst thing you can say to somebody. Really? Yeah. Good for you. Oh, that I sounds I so patronizing. Feel like, like you look. I would have. I I didn't. I would have guessed 50 something, like 52, is what oh, I was gonna say. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I thought earlier. You did you hear me? I thought we were similar in age. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, I, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you grew up watching shows I was on. I think yeah. that was a hint that we weren't the same age. You know, well, I get it. I get it. Right? I get it. Right? Yeah. It Man, I feel like it. you brought your A game today, and we're just like, hey, no, he's we're here. having a good time. What are you talking about? You're, yeah. I feel like you're learning about me, right? I learned not, a lot. Am I not yeah. talking about myself enough? You didn't want to, but you have. You don't no, make I, it easy to talk about yourself. Correct. No, because I right, right. Right. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> you, know, you know a little about me. You know I got into NYU. I'm from Florida. Now, so when you came out to Los Angeles, what was the club you worked at? Can you say or no? The Improv. The Improv. Okay. The Improv. But I also got into uh, uh, the alternative comedy scene. So I got into Largo and oh, all no of those sure. rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. So What were was, you doing? What was the, What was your... Why, why did you qualify for mainstream and alternative rooms? I think just because my act is quirky enough you, you can say like i'm a quirky guy i'm like so it's i think it was one of the few andy kindler there was a few of us the sklar brothers that could kind of like Sklar brothers are great Kindler's yeah they great. could They're kind great. of like do both because my act was never like an traditional 80s comedian act you know so hmm. i i again i i don't know i don't know i mean i wasn't the best of that i wasn't like pat oswald or paul f tompkins level stand-up Hmm. And those were those guys were just cre- to this day. I do not like they're no longer here. I Is mean, I'm just, I marvel, marvel, marvel at at how great they are at stand up. Just uh, it's thrilling and inspiring to this day. It's wonderful to hear you say that, but 
it's quite fun to watch you work also. Thank you. Thank Don't forget. Thank you. Thank you. No, you really don't like talking about you. I don't like those kind of compliments. I don't like those kind of No, but you don't like really talking about you much. No, I It's did. sort of like factual history, and that's about it. And then, well, What would you uh, – let's do it. Give me a question. What, did, what kind of a kid were you in Florida? In Florida? Mm-hmm. When you were a kid, before high – Well, you know. uh, I was like a funny kid. I'll tell you – I will tell you something. I was a pretty good athlete. I had an older brother who was like an excellent that, athlete. Is that where you learned this? <laughs> so let's do that. <laughs> then we do the shot. Uh, and remember, there's an old joke. I was a javelin catcher. For the, <laughs> you know, that, uh, that old joke. So I, I had like, like, like even today, like I have dual entry, you know, between the movies and things yeah. and muscle cars. But <laughs> I had a really big disappointment when I couldn't make the JV basketball team. And it was like I was really good in basketball, but I was slow. And, like, the final thing, we would run these sprints back and forth, mm-hmm. and I would always be, like, last. And – but I was better than a number of those kids – not a number, but at least three or four of those kids who made the team. <laughs> I was better than any of the starters. So, I mean, it was nowhere near. But I was better than some of those kids who were like, I could shoot better, shoot better free throws. And I always thought the coach was, like, didn't – like – He didn't <laughs> see? He didn't see the potential? No, but because I was quick. I just wasn't fast. And so – and that I think like was really disappoint me, disappointing to the point I was I was devastated because I was like, well, I'm not going to make the varsity. Now. I'm not going to be. A... And then your I, trajectory I, is now going off course. My right? trajectory is now going to be more debate team this. And then I started excelling in that area. And then. But you had the brain to realize that all that was happening real time, in when you were actually. No, no, no. Okay. No. no. This but... is you later. You put the pieces together and looking back. Okay. <laughs> but I do remember how crushed I was that day. Yeah. And then I would audition for plays and get in the, you know, not the leads, but like enough in the, you know, always in the plays. And I I like the attention. I guess I like Just, attention. It's, something it's weird that I don't like talking about myself <laughs> and I'm in this business. I'm thinking of, that's where I'm going. I'm yeah. thinking of somebody who, uh, uh, um, what is the line in Back to the Future? I just don't think I could take that type of... Uh, of uh, a rejection. Yeah. yeah and I'm yeah, thinking yeah. all of a sudden, you know, that this it's this moment of being rejected that actually led you to go to a career where you could theoretically face far more rejection than almost any other thing in the world. I know, I know. I don't know. I didn't... I never thought of show That's business... Funny. I mean, I always knew it was going to be... You know be, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Nicole? What do you mean? Like, like you think it was like, like like that story, like that I was afraid of rejection, or that I was wanted more of it, or that I was. He won't I think answer. He's you having like you answer for him. Per- it's great. That's fine. I think you liked performing, and yeah, I don't I think that you liked that you had rules put on you that didn't seem to make sense. Mm. Oh, okay. So you went to a place where you could slide by. You weren't oh. going to get looked at too closely, like you were in like that sports arena. And you got to create stuff and be part of be something of really amazing. Be a ventriloquist. Yeah, I got it called for a meeting with Jeff Dunham. I don't agree with ventriloquism myself, but I understand it. I love it. it. You don't agree with the idea of it. I understand it. <laughs> I don't find great. it funny currently. Ever? Always. You've never seen a ventriloquist? I like? probably liked it when I was a kid. It was black and white, old people doing stuff. But I'm a snob. Okay. It's Edgar Bergen back then. First I'm of a all, snob. You were I not own a it. kid when Edgar Bergen was. When I saw <laughs> it, my parents liked to regurgitate right, comedy right. stuff. So, right. like when I saw it, I was a kid, but it was probably on like a VHS, like uh-huh. best of whatever the whatever we watched. I don't know. That's interesting. That is very. But am I close to you with the sports and the theater stuff? No, I don't know if I was afraid of like being on the radar. I just was. Like I was pretty no, good I'm at- saying you seem to not be afraid because you then went and did yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you, you went from I'm going to try to be sports and I'm straight to the stage for one. So right, I'm right, high. right, right. And then I think there's part of me, and it's humiliating to say that, like I like attention and I like being, but I am. But you're a, a good center of attention too. Thank you, thank you. But I, I think I'm also. I mean, if we're going to even think about this, I, I think I. One thing that comedy and this is like you're in control for the most part. Of the circumstance, so if things if are good going at it, well, you, you theoretically can, you should always switch, be. In yeah, control. you can switch gears and then like that. So it's you're like, driving at the very least. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's on you. So I think I enjoy. I think I enjoy that. But and that's why the answering questions about yourself probably takes a backseat. 
the lack of control. Well, that seems I'm like going to decide where this I goes, and if it. I don't want to answer it, I'm going to have you do it. <laughs> it seems like an intellectual judgment that you don't make. Like you go with the flow, and like you feel stuff versus like thinking about. I don't how really. To I know this. Stuff. You're asking these questions. I really yeah. don't think of my life. I don't really think about those things that much. Does that? No, it's good, good for you. It's good it for is? you because I think that's mental clutter that maybe you do. gets okay, in some okay, people's okay. way. Okay. I mean, if you don't have that, that's great. That's great. I mean, I don't, re- I don't think I really give it that much thought other than like I was a kid that wanted attention. Are you an only child or do you have siblings? No. Siblings? No. Lots of siblings. How many? Siblings. This is the weird thing. Four. I have a very similar thing with you. Four from my original dad. I was the youngest. And then my dad died. And then my mom remarried like five years later, mm-hmm. and two more. They're half brother and sister, but we were all adopted. We all have the same last name. Okay. Nobody flipped their name around or anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then they. Uh, so I have. So I was the youngest during the formidable. Is that? Am I saying that right? Formidable. Formidable. Say it again. Formative. Formative years. Yeah, it's not formidable. Formidable. That's also like, a word, but that's, not, that's, that's not, not right. I didn't think it was right. That's why I was looking at Nicole. Help me out here. Formative. Yeah, the formative years. During the for- and then I had a younger brother and sister who I'm still you know, close with, so it's so I also have that kind of nurturing side. Uh, only child, so I was like, the, yeah, that's yeah, the attention see, for that. See, you know I what see. I mean? So, but you don't ha- that's not your... Hmm. No, no, I have it a little. I think a lot of comedians are either only childs or the youngest but not all of them, but a lot of them tend to be because you don't get the attention and you're like, oh. That's what it is. Yeah. I think. That's what I've noticed. You have Certainly. noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, whatever, whatever the age is, those are two that like pick out like attention seeking behavior, but comedians certainly as a on a whole like like attention they don't always like that they like attention but they love right. the attention once they have ah, it so you, yeah. yeah that makes sense yeah i knew what i was i was good mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh we've gone an hour and 20 already have you enjoyed this experience has it been acceptable to you We've, it's been a, a fucking been honor great. having it's you. Been it's, been been great. Great. it's been great. It's been great. I like really learning. It. I like learning about this house. <laughs> I like knowing rents <laughs> on this street. I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's in the. Uh, Please don't. I appreciate that. Okay. And but everyone uh, knows we're right by Universal Studios. Yeah, yeah. You're in the Valley of San Fernando. Yep. Yep. Um, I always like to make fun of the, of the valley because of especially Victory Boulevard. Okay. Like what was so oh, victorious? What, yeah. about, what are you celebrating? Yeah, over yeah. There, guys? What is, <laughs> so you would name it Victory. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of nondescript, right? <laughs> no. By the railroad tracks. <laughs> Same with the LA River. Oh, that's a not tough really one. a river. Oh, not more a river. of a yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about a, so, uh, five or six years. But when can I, I say LA thank you for having me? And you can please yeah, do. Yeah, I would thank you for having me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. For having me, Thank Nicole. You for was, being here. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope that we get to run into you at some point uh, again where I don't know if I'll have the opportunity. Do you know what I mean? This is so great. I love it. I love it. I don't, I don't even know I'm what I'm... I'm a weird, quirky guy, guys. You are, I'm and you've weird, got me into dude. a weird, quirky place where I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever see this guy again, but I don't ever want to forget this experience. I can ever. see it on your face. Like You're like, let me record every what? moment. Okay, just real quickly at the, as to wrap it up. What did you think this interview would... This isn't how they normally go. This isn't like a normal mm-hmm. interview. Uh, no. Okay. You're, uh, very pleasantly cagey. <laughs> <laughs> because you couldn't be more, uh, polite. And, right, I see and, on the and, surface. And yeah. so fucking talented, and you're so great. But, um, you definitely fought me every step of the way, and I don't care, it's great. Was it really? Then? Yeah, I'll take yes. it. I don't care, it's fantastic. <laughs> okay. This, everyone else is gonna love it, because they're gonna like, fuck it, yeah, he gets a taste of his own medicine for a change, it's good. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, but it does mean a world, uh, the world to both of us oh, that, came, well, that you came over here and, and, and spent some time talking Thank with us Thank you today. for the Coca-Cola. I'm just, <laughs> just, about done, just about done. Well, it's perfect timing. All right. Uh, Wayne Fetterman, how, about, how do people keep uh, up with you? Is there social media? And There's I'll take just, a little thing for Instagram right now. Yeah, I'm on Insta Fetterman on Instagram, which I don't use that often. And then um, at Fetterman on Twitter. Twitter. Twitter's Twitter. your main jam. Twitter. I, I try not to be – I don't do too much social media. And yeah. I have a website, obviously, with does, my name. Yeah. Does somebody run that stuff for you? Or do you no. Know? Good for you. No. <laughs> Did a lot of comedians come in here? Yes. It was a lot of my right, Yeah, job. what's the right answer? You, you're giving me a – I'm curious. I, yeah, yeah, a, lot, a lot of people have people to do that these days. What do you mean? Social media has become like a, a job. Like a comedian? Like it's a job. You hire someone to do that. And what would they do? 
they do all the shit you don't have to do. They generate Excuse all the, me, the clicks we're... and the views and all that. We don't do it either. I like we pride ourselves on having a real uh, people, real followers, not paid for followers. But but why would you? I know there was, I thought you're like I'm supposed to be coming up with jokes for Twitter. They they couldn't do that, right? I agree with you. Maybe it's a different medium. But I'm telling you, there's guys out there. I'm right, right? I'm yeah. learning. Yeah. It used to be my old job, and I, I think uh-huh. it's changing. I think I mean, I could especially... understand a fame like a famous actor who doesn't have anything to say. Right, like there was a minute where comedians got lumped into that process, and mm-hmm. where it was like just pay someone to do everything for you, and then they all got adamantly like, no, no, it's not my voice. I'm yeah, good. Yeah, I'll yeah. do it myself. Would... It's like writing on award shows and like oh, uh, talk okay. shows, like when like segment producers come in to like mm-hmm. orchestrate stuff to okay. save time, I and it all I makes sense. That. Yeah, I guess I could see that. But it's it, right, the authenticity is the thing. Again, I know this. Room. I love it. I'm gonna bracket the whole thing with these because I'm always curious. Like, <laughs> what do you think it would cost to hire someone to do my social media, which would I assume be my Twitter? And my Insta Fetterman, my Instagram. It's a sliding scale, and it depends on what you want and what you want it for. Well, give me the scale. Give me the from the least to the most. It depends. Uh, five hundred to five thousand yeah. a month. A month. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But and it depends it, it, on what you're looking 5, for. Five thousand just for social. Oh, absolutely. It but depends. we're talking about maybe I not know. Wayne Federer, maybe a little bit yeah, more. No, like but a, but they're going for they're getting the clicks, they're getting the followers, they're getting the likes, they're getting the hates, they're getting all that shit. Somehow, do that's they what respond? They want. I don't. I if think so, but it's automated. Yeah. Or maybe they do it live. If you want the, it depends on who I'm you learning, hire. Guys, I'm learning. Can you see it in my eyes? People There's have approached di- us for this. That's different. the only really. We know. Yeah. Have you done it? No. no. There's different kind. And it, it gets lumped in with marketing, which is weird. That's different mm-hmm. versus like controlling your personality that you're putting out and like. So there's lines. It's all. It's all. It, it all comes down to what you want. Okay. I know we're done with our podcast, but I'm curious about this. <laughs> Because I never thought of myself as like a brand or anything. You know what I mean? I'm just whatever well, I'm doing that kind of thing. But so I never. So I'm just th- I'm just thinking about like I'm not going to hire somebody, <coughs> but I might like put some more effort into it. But sometimes it just I find it so dehumanizing to be looking at that screen and like. Who are these people? Why do I care? What? Especially as opposed to like writing a joke and doing it on stage. But yeah. I might be living in an analog world as it's changing. Well, you mentioned that before, but we are too. We try to un. Other than the fact that this mm-hmm. whole show is based on iOS devices, yeah. unplug, get away from the screens yeah. all day long. All right. Well, I'm just we thinking about. I'm thinking about it that maybe. Well, all right. I mean, it makes sense. You think about it. it. Makes sense. All right. Let me get out of here. No, no, no. You st- stay <laughs> right there. We're done. I get I'm it. I, overst- talk I overstayed my welcome. That's I get it. Couldn't Sit be less true. Where are you going? Oh. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> Ryan, tomorrow we have uh, architect and Porsche file Dan Run is here. We yeah. talk about the Bridge House LA and the, awesome. the original Eames designs as well. Uh, Thursday, we've got John Benton here. That's yeah. going to be exciting Coming as well back, to close yeah. out the week. And then Friday, of course, Breakfast Club. So, yeah. Mrs. Ryan, I love you very, yeah. very much. Yeah. Wayne Fetterman, we love you so very, very much. Uh, We love all of you at home. Please love one another, and we will see you tomorrow. (laughs) Guys, thank you. I I think that went well. You're incredible. You're incredible. We asked for Wayne Fetterman. That's what we got. Yo, you got it. You got it. That's oh what my it's God. about. I yeah. learned about Portia. Learned about. The, I'm sorry, I made fun of that dude. <laughs>